r slash isreddit, men of reddit, what is one piece of advice that all men should know about life? Something my Phil said that just seemed so wise. Don't spend all week wishing for Friday, cause years later you'll realize you spent most of your weeks just wishing instead of doing. Great tip. Instead of wishing to get drunk on Friday, I'm gonna get rat arsed on Monday instead. Brush your teeth every day. Use mouthwash. People won't tell you that you smell like a goat. They will tell others. Mouthwash does jack shit. Make sure to floss regularly. Don't be proud of being an asshole. Be proud of being a good person. Sometimes you have to be an asshole for your own sake. But that doesn't mean you should be proud of it. As a recovering asshole this one hit deep. Wish everyone would read this. Take care of the ones you love. And that includes yourself. I asked the doctor for another finger just for a second opinion. Pat each of your pockets at least three times before leaving. Never knock another man's hustle and treat the janitor's W the same respect as the CEO's. I'd argue most janitors deserve more respect than most CEOs but yet. Never forget to date your wife. Husband, hey, do you want to go out on a date with me? Wife, sorry, I only married you as a friend. Just because it's offered doesn't mean you have to take it. So true. It's not frugal if you don't need it, even if it's on sale. Sounds rather similar to something I've been telling others. Just because you can doesn't mean that you should. For all those young men out there just about to enter adulthood, I will not sugarcoat it. Your actions always have consequences, good or bad it's up to you. But there will be consequences and they will get you on a path. So choose wisely and think about what type of lifestyle you wish to have. Consequences will follow you all your life and you have to learn to live with them. To add to this, always make a choice or a choice will be made for you. Never sacrifice your integrity, it will inevitably be what saves your ass down the line. Phone, keys, wallet. Integrity is the only thing that no one can ever take from you. You have to give it away. They can take your money, your job, your dignity, your clothes, your house, but they can never forcibly take your integrity. Some lines can't be uncrossed. Be at peace with your own self. You can only compete so much in life. Never overdo it or else, you will abandon everyone around you just to chase something that's just a paper worth. Barbecue tongs need constant testing. Click twice every time. Along these lines, a load isn't properly secured in the back of your truck unless you pluck the ratchet straps and say that ain't going anywhere. I feel like a crab with the tongue, and I am happy of thinking myself is a crab. Please also be sure to give 2 to 3 quick trigger pulls on the cordless drill before using. See also, when using a stud finder men are contractually obligated to place it on themselves and announce that they found one. Get a prostate exam. Realize that no one is ever going to care about you and your success more than you will. If you want to be successful and achieve great things in life, you must push yourself to do things you don't always want to do. Decide what success looks like to you and what kind of life you want to live, create an action plan for creating it into reality, and then begin to implement it immediately. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Bonus hack to finding a good partner, the person who cares about your success as much as you do. Learn to laugh at yourself. You'll enjoy life more, and so will everyone around you. Learn basic skills so you can do basic stuff on cars, minor house repairs, ECT. But be humble enough to know when you need help or a professional to do it. Don't overpay for something simple you can do, but don't try something you can't do, fuck it up and make it worse. Be curious. Curiosity and not knowing things isn't a weakness. The 18 seconds of fumbling with the condom beats the hell out of raising a kid for 18 years. They are still your kid for decades after 18, and you still worry about them. Don't let your affection give you an infection. Put some protection on that erection. 18 seconds to put a condom. If you can smell your butt, others can too. Keep it clean folks. Don't destroy your body working for a company, it's not worth it in the long run and the only people who will remember that you worked late 20 years ago are your children. Reminds me of the old tweet, before you leave the house, think of the acronym WOWE. Wallet. Phone. Bookies. Egg. Egg. Backup. Stop trying to win at games no one else is keeping score at and just focus on being a good person. Learn to fix things around the house and do basic work on your car. Ha 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 house. That's nice advice. My father's a teacher, 
but he has lot of skills regarding to gardening, electrical equipments, plumbing and basic things about car, etc. It is not only economically convenient but also sexy for a man to have so many skills in his arsenal. Literally just try to do shit, google it, ask around, open the fucking hood and see if shit came unplugged. Volunteer, you will be surprised where it gets you. Know when to pinch pennies, and when to spend the extra money. Food, cloths, lawyers. Food clothes and lawyers, the alternate take of the Warren's Evans song, lawyers guns and money. It's okay to recognize and accept that you have anxiety and slash or depression. Your mental health matters. Things change. Friends, relationships, careers, hobbies, interests, health, status, nothing is permanent. When things are bad, just remember, this too shall pass. On the other side of the coin, don't take the good time slash things for granted. Stop and smell the roses. It's easier to stay in shape than to get in shape. Learn this the hard way as I am slowly starting to work out again. Get a good barber who knows you and stay with him, LVE had the same guy for 3 years since he was finally the one who did my hair the best. The wrong woman will make you lose yourself. Find the one who will inspire you to be the best you, not the one who will make you lose your mind. The ducks at the park are free and they taste good. Not at my local park. I charge $5 each. No is a complete sentence. Fast hustles never end good, work hard, save your money and you will never have to look over your shoulder. Got all these camouflage get rich quick schemes, I wonder how people fall for them. I'm a young business owner, and every time I meet someone and tell them what I do, they mention how they're planning on making a new forex platform, or trading in X currency, or drop shipping, or some unoriginal business idea. Crying is okay, and expressing your emotions in a healthy way does not make you weak. Yep, when stressed over some shit that's happening, be it over money, work, or anything else a good cry can relieve a lot of it. Feels like it almost resets the system and gives you some focus back. Does for me anyway. It's okay to change your mind. I find it easier to get in shape than consistently stay in shape. Life is not a competition. Stop trying to one-up another, you're not going to win anything and even if you did, there's no prize for winning. Instead, lay back and focus on thing that's important to you, not something that everyone tell you is important. Yup. I just started running again. My times are slow but I like to say to myself run for yourself, fuck everyone else. You don't owe anyone anything. Not being fulfilled in your relationship? Leave. Find someone better. You don't owe them anything. I see too many men stick around with toxic women only be to drained of all their resources and energy, and for what? More misery. When people show you who they are, believe them. Do what it takes so you can be happy. Don't date that girl if everything she does makes you miserable. Don't work that job if every day pisses you off and stresses you out. Don't give so much of yourself to others if those people never give anything back. Edit, thanks for the awards and all the fantastic comments. I greatly appreciate it. Number 4 especially. It's not your job to cater and give to those who give nothing back. Society, PPL etc. will try to shame you or force you to bend your will for their preconceived notions.